hi welcome to data on my view in this video I'm going to show how to use filter bar filter bar is one of the feature available in web intelligence alright so when we talk about filter bar we need to know what are the different ways to filter the data so if you take a end to end scenario the data is going to be reside in a database and we are going to create as a final application so the first end is going to be database and the final end is going to be reporting application alright so we can apply the filter on database level on a next layer intermediate layer which is nothing but universe or business layer we can apply the filter on business layer or you can apply the filter on web intelligence so under web intelligence we have uh, uh, different kinds of filters the first one is prompt so you can create a prompt on a different uh, report objects so it means whenever you open a report it is going to give you the pop up screen there you have to filter the value so based on the filtered value you are going to get the report report data all right so that is a way to filter it out and the next way you can use input control so input control is one of the option if you want to learn input control then you can watch my videos there I have explained the different kinds of input controls or different options like uh, basic options and advanced options alright you can use input control to filter the data inside report so that next way is you can use drill option so when you use drill option by default in the backend it is going to use filter bar so now we need to know what is filter bar so how we can get this filter bar so inside web intelligence you can go to analysis tab and you can see option called filter bar under interact section so if you enable this the filter bar will be enabled like this alright when you, we use drill option the filter bar will be enabled like this but whenever we click the option it is going to filter automatically but as we are specifically talking about filter bar we need to filter it out manually all right so when we have this option you can see a drop down here so these drop downs will uh, show all the report objects which are available in this screen all right here from this drop down you have to choose one of the field which you want to filter it out so i'm going to choose state so if i select state by default it is going to show all the states so there is no filter applied Alright, from uh, these all states, I can choose any specific state. State. So, if I choose DC, then whole table of figure is going to be affected because of this filtered uh, state value. Alright. So, still you can have a uh, multiple filters. So, if you want to remove this filter, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can see remove option. Remove. So, when you remove the filter is revert back so there is no filter on this table so I can have a different filter city state store name so I can have a different filters here so all together it is going to apply as a and condition so now if I select one of the uh, field then whole report is going to be affected so it is all considered as unconditioned so if you take an SQL statement if you want to filter it out we are going to use var function right so under var function we are going to have a different column with a different condition with uh, und operator alright so that's it, that is how it is working in the back end so you can remove easily and if you disable this filter bar uh, you can't see this filter bar and you are not sure what are the values has been filtered it out so make sure when you create a report just enable this filter bar and make sure there is no objects are filtered it out so if any objects are filtered it out just click remove and make it as a default option so that end user can see the results so if you created a filter and if you forgot to remove then end user will see why these uh, reports or uh, table of figures showing only less number of records instead of showing more number of records so it is it might be a uh, difficult to uh, identify when end user see these results so as a developer you know that 
where you can find the issue so you have to go to filter bar and you have to make sure there is no filter objects are selected with a specific value all right thank you